The MG ZST with more tech, more safety with 360 degree camera and more peace of mind from 25490 drive away. The award winning MG ZST, it's the more you've been looking for. Mount Isa's hit 102.5. Harvey Norman Mount Isa. Computers, mobiles, printers, all under the one roof. Come and see one of the experts today. Hit News Briefing. Hello, it's Matt Layson with you. The Treasurer is telling us Labor's intervention in the energy market is working and it'll soon be reflected in our bills. Jim Chalmers has told the ABC prices are still going up but they'll be up to 48% lower than first thought. Our energy plan is taking some of the edge off this inflation in our economy, uh, and that's a good thing. The Indigenous Australians Minister will urge Peter Dutton not to make the same mistake again on the voice to Parliament. The now opposition leader boycotted then Prime Minister Kevin Rudd's apology to the Stolen Generations in 2008. Linda Burney is using the apology's 15th anniversary to send a message to those who walked out of Parliament that day. New South Wales Labor is promising to cap road tolls to $60 a week if it wins next month's state election. More than 50,000 drivers would be better off under the plan, saving around $147 million over two years. The promise would be on top of the existing rebate of up to $750 for eligible drivers. A US warplane has shot down an unidentified object flying over northern Canada. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says Canadian forces will recover and analyse the wreckage. It follows a similar move to bring down a suspected Chinese spy balloon which hovered over the US. And hopes are fading for more survivors of the deadly Turkey Air Syria earthquake. The death toll has risen to more than 25,000 but the UN thinks that number may double woman has become the third Aussie victim of the tragedy. Beyond Blue is here to help you achieve your best possible mental health. For more information, advice and support, visit beyondblue.org.au today. Skipper Pat Cummins is resisting calls for mass changes despite Australia's poor showing in the first test against India. The home side winning by an innings and 132 runs. We've had a really good run the last kind of 12 months, so yeah, it hasn't been many losses in that change room. I don't think we need to reinvent the wheel. It's just, again, tweaking different approaches to how we play and maybe particular methods. Australia thrashed New Zealand by 97 runs to kick off the Women's T20 World Cup campaign. A can star report that she has called has been ruled out of the game by in World Clash against the Cubs. Sunshine to stay across Mount Isa. Fine today and a warm top of 38 degrees. So try and find somewhere cool. It is the daily stories that matter in under 20 minutes. Search the briefing podcast on Listener. Download the app now and listen for free.